In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for NaOH plus MgCl2. This is sodium hydroxide plus magnesium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I have two hydroxide groups here and just one here. So I'll put a two in front of the NaOH, two sodiums, two chlorines. So I'm going to put a two here, two sodiums, two chlorines, magnesium, magnesium. This equation is balanced. Now we can write the state for each substance. For sodium hydroxide, this is a strong base. It's going to be aqueous. It'll dissociate into its ions. Magnesium chloride, chloride is very soluble. That'll be aqueous, strong electrolyte. Sodium chloride, another chloride. So for magnesium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, and most hydroxides in general aren't soluble. There are a few exceptions, like hydroxides of group one elements, which sodium is one of those. But we're going to call this a solid because it's insoluble. So when this reaction happens, this will be a precipitate. It'll be solid. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. That'll be the complete ionic equation. Sodium's in group one. That'll have a one plus ionic charge. Hydroxide, the whole thing, one minus. So we have two sodium ions. And I'll write the states later. I won't do that now. Plus two hydroxide ions. And then with the magnesium group two on the periodic table at two plus chlorine one minus. So I'll have Mg two plus, that's our magnesium ion. And then I'll have two chloride ions. So those are the reactants in the products. We said plus and minus there, two sodium ions, and then two chloride ions. For solids in net ionic equations, we don't split them apart. They're not split apart in the test tube. They're just at the bottom. So we're just going to leave that as MgOH2, that magnesium hydroxide. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. It's on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I'm looking for things that are the same in the reactants and the products. I have two sodium ions in the reactants, two in the products. Let's just cross them out. Two chloride ions two chloride ions, cross them out. And what remains is the net ionic equation for NaOH plus MgCl2. I'll clean this up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus magnesium chloride. You'll note that charge is balanced. I have two times the minus here. So I have two minus, two plus, they cancel out, neutral compound here. And if you count the atoms up on both sides, you'll have the same number. So mass is balanced. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion first in net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little nicer. Either way, it's the same net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.